Hello, survivors, and welcome back to Indie Game Test Drive. Today is February 4th, 2016, and we are about to date Kona. Day one, now for a short spin, and we shall kick the proverbial tires, as it were, and see what she's got under the hood. But before we jump in, let's get the nitty-gritty out of the way. This, again, is Kona Day 1. It is developed by Parable, based in Quebec, Canada. It is not available yet, but will be in four days' time, where you will be able to play the beta. You can actually pre-order it right now. There's a link down below in the description that'll lead you to that page. It's $7. And that is 30% off the asking price, um, which... I don't know exactly when the asking price is going to go into effect, but my guess is it will on the 8th. So, grab it now if you like what you see. This particular copy was provided to me by the developers to share with you. No other strings attached. Alright, let's hop in and get started, because the music right here gets super loud. Remember, this build is a preview of our beta and has many bugs and unfinished features. For instance, the journal does not work and the menu music will blow your eardrums out. That being said, have fun. Can you hear me? Can, can you hear me now? Anyway, we're going to have a little bit of an intro here, so let's sit back and watch. I just traveled thousands of kilometers from Montreal to reach this remote, middle-of-nowhere area situated near the far northern Lake Adamabek. <coughs> Granted, that was a great distance to cover for a sole client, but word had it that he was a particularly... <sighs> oh, all these old bones... Yeah, I'm Carl, the detective here, on my way to meet a client. And I just had my, my gear out here just... Carl had to drive a bit further north in order it to out. meet with wealthy industrialist Spilled my coffee William on Hamilton. It. That's the guy, William Hamilton. We're going to go talk to William him. William Hamilton was a prosperous owner who had acquired various Can't businesses... Can't get that yet. Grab my cigs. ...as well as metal mines in this northern region. Right, so he's a wealthy industrialist, moved Carl, up here. always oh. diligent in his work, always carried his log on him. In yep. which he scribbled down thoughts and leads alike during the course of his investigation. Not a thoughtful fella, apparently. Let's close that. That doesn't work, remember? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Let's go over here and grab my favorite piece of the equipment. The Polaroid. Oh, I love this Carl's thing. Carl's long-standing and faithful ally had seen a share of husbands caught red It's the 70s, shoes. folks. That There's is a sweet beast right there. there. Waiting to be snapped away. Take a picture of it. Even when removed from civilization. Uh, my Chevy. My Chevy pickup. Yeah, so it's not, it is sometime in the 70s, and again, we're in Canada. Um, I don't know anything other than that, to be perfectly honest. I've only spent about 10 minutes in the game just messing around with my um, technical settings, the audios and the visuals and all that jazz. Um, so we're going to get a bit of um, a narration here in the car. We're going to head uh, to our destination to meet with this fella, Carl, our client. not knowing what lay on the other side of the bridge, eh? needed to make sure he wasn't leaving anything behind. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hamilton is waiting for Carl in the general store. That's awesome. All right, can't forget my flashlight. To get down to business. Yes, let's get down to business. So there's obviously going to be some spoilers here, guys. So if that is going William Hamilton to be a problem, a country house, then you might not want to watch. The heart of the northern forests. Well, here we go. Far from here. Let's see what our top speed in this old Chevy is. Oh, look at this. I don't even have an 8-track in this thing in the 70s, the local huh? Populace was divided AM radio. It came to the affluent man. Right. Some saw a wealthy philanthropist Ooh. dedicated to improving the region's economy. Others, an aging Englishman who would do anything to further his fortune. And these ones hated him enough to go on about scheming against him. So he's a bit of a controversial character, moving up here, uh, making some waves. Some people support him, some Carl do not. was not made aware that winter would come early this year. And suddenly it was winter. The North made clear who was the boss up there. Snow. Which Snow. didn't care much about the date when it felt like dumping its first load of the year. Wow, blizzards, conditions suddenly. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Icy roads, hold on, Hamilton sorry. Had I got a four wheel drive. A few local businesses. But the last straw was the reopening of a mine, Ooh. which gave rise to a wave of protests and threats from the Cree people. Losing traction here. Yeah, so the Cree people are the Native Americans that live up in this area. And they don't like this fella encroaching upon their lands or some such. But again, this is all a mystery to me. I'll try to keep the spoilers at a minimum. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What are you doing on the? Who's out here driving in, in this? These circumstances. Maniac. Carl that a good number of people must be feeling compelled to oppose Hamilton. Well, I should one slow down. It's my top speed here. 
So well, far, <laughs> only the industrialist's house had been a target. It's okay, but folks. I'm a professional. I drive in this stuff all the, the time. The target would become the man himself. Hold up, hold up. What's this say? Spanning Man several Manastan of region. virgin forest blanketed in eternal snow. The Manastan region, Manistan region. mostly of bellowing caribous and inviolate lakes. Wasn't Northern Canada. Touristic. That's all I know. It was said that its lands had harbored the Cree people for thousands of years. But since the Industrial Revolution, it seemed that all they harbored were metal mines. Dang, we're on empty. Very few souls claimed the territory surrounding Lake Atamipan. It could barely be called a village, an enclave, or a settlement, perhaps. Anything that illustrates middle of nowhereness bordering the backwoods of the Cree Kingdom. Yeah, pretty much no one in their right mind would live up here, but hey, hold on, we got something. Civilization. Oh, whoa, 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 hit the brakes! Since 1941, the general store provided the populace with various goods. Yeah, let's pull right up here and get some gas. It looks like I need itself. it. <laughs> William Hamilton had recently taken over the place. Put it in park. In fact, the whole region was now. All right, let's get out. There we go. It's in park. Was I any? I couldn't tell. Anyway, all right. So this is the general store, and we are supposed to meet William Hamilton here. Gilles Lachance owned the general store. That is, before Hamilton got his hands on it. Gilles Lachance. Um. Can I get some gas? I guess I'll have to go inside and pay. Remember, there's no there's no pay at the pumps here in the 70s. So we got to go inside and pay cash. Uh, let's just look around here and see what we got. Oh. A milkman had to drive by every week to fill the bottles. 50 cents. The fresh milk indicated a recent visit. I like milk. Can I I can't take any milk though. So we're going to we're going to we're going to encounter some uh, some French so I, I had no idea how to read French, guys, so... Whatever happened here, things got with me. pretty rough. Another oh. trace of Hamilton. It's nice and warm inside. So this is where we were supposed to meet our client, but, uh, yeah, so it looks like things got rough. We've got uh, items from the shelves have been disturbed. Might have been a fight. I don't know. So this is one of the first mysteries we must solve. But the first thing we're going to do is shut off that old turntable. Okay, well then, here we are. Let us play around with some stuff and investigate. There is clearly a letter here. Can I jump up on the counter, by the way? Um, but I'm going to, I'm not going to look at that. Pump's on. So we have electricity. And then we have a, uh, it's a cash register. Old school cash register. Sale, 10 cents. All right. I'm going to buy something. Crank it up. What'd I get? Oh, there's a note inside here, too. And I, th like I said, I think I'm just going to avoid looking at that for now. Well, here we go. Oh, that's cool. These bears are not even cold. <laughs> there was a movie that did this pretty recently. Was it a comic book movie? I can't remember, but I like that. And there is a way to translate, too. Did, did you happen to see that? Oh, we got a key here. Nice. Finding a key is easy. Finding the right keyhole. Not so much. Hold on. Let's find something written in French. What is this then? Carl was used to strange phenomena. But a chunk of ice like this? As if an mm. iceberg came out of the ground? Taking a picture of that. That was a first. Definitely a first. I've never seen ice come right up out of the ground like that. Let's keep that one. All right. Oh. There's a fuse box. Main store in the garage. Oh, let's go to the garage. Here we have a switch here to choose main. Uh oh. I, oh, gen generator. I guess that's what that is. Cool. So there's quite a bit to look at and interact with just in this little general store. You can see all the magnifying glasses here. So things that we can examine and um, gain clues about the mysteries. Um, I'm going to avoid those because, again, I don't want to spoil the story for you guys. But you can see here we have post office boxes and they're all pretty much locked. Although I do have that one key and my guess is it's going to work in one of these. But I don't want to mess around with it. So let's just not do that. 
Um, how about if we just go outside, take a look around real quick, and oh boy, wolves. They don't even know I'm looking at them. Let's take a picture. They're beautiful. And then we'll just call it quits. So this game is billing itself as an interactive tale of mystery exploration. Hey, boy! Carl proudly Ooh. remembered an essential fact of his Survival 101 class in the Army. Wolves won't approach crowded areas. Of course or not. Or was it about bears? Uh, I don't know. Let's just check the trash. Oh, there's another note. I'm going to avoid that. <laughs> um, so, a tale of interactive... Uh, an interactive tale of mystery, exploration, and survival. And I'm just reading this. Set amid a powerful and ominous snowstorm in a northern village in Canada in the 70s. And the rest is up to you to discover, obviously. And the game is going to be broken down into four different acts. This is Act 1, Day 1, and there will be four in total. I don't know if you're going to have to pay for each one of those individually. This is something that we'll just have to figure out on your own. You guys can do your due diligence in that respect. Hey, let's try our flashlight. Whoops. No. Nope. Um, but that's the idea. So it's going to be kind of episodic. And uh, No, 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 no. Bring out my flashlight, which is four. Let's try press the number. There we go. Oh, there's a light here. Oh, cool. I can flip the switch. Oh, sweet. And we have a sweet vehicle. But looks like it's missing a lot of things. There's an engine in there, but that's about it. I'm no mechanic, but I thought there would be more than that. Oh, crowbar. Get it. Crowbar's stuck. It's stuck. Oh, it's stuck on the... In the lift. Hey! It sounded like an explosion had occurred <laughs> in front of the store. What? Oh, explosion in front of the store. Did somebody just blow up my car? But the power went out. Uh oh. Alright. Story spoiler here, guys. Oh, it's a wire. Oh, a transformer blew and a wire's down. Yeah. Okay, good. My Chevy's still here. Oh, sweet baby. Oh, I thought I lost you, girl. Whew, good thing I have a picture of you anyway. <laughs> In case I do. All right, let's let's um, let's get back over to the garage. Oh, you know what? It's a generator. So we lost power. Oh, I know. And yeah, this is going to be kind of spoilerific, but I think if we can get the generator going, get the power back up and running, maybe we can get that... That lift up off the, um, off the thingamajigger. What's the problem? I switched to generator. Circuit breakers on or off? Uh. The note explained that both the garage and the store shouldn't be supplied with electricity at the same time. This is a good idea. Find a generator. Oh, there's a pro there's like a oil tank there. Here it is. This must Carl be the was no electrician. But he could identify a wiring problem when he saw one. Oh, so here we have a bit of a crafting window. So we have to put stuff in. I don't know what. Oh, I can put my film in there and matches. Oh, you can you can uh, you can make combinations and experiments. But I don't think my Polaroid <laughs> and matches are going to solve this problem. So we're missing some key components. That ice is really bizarre. So it looks like there might be some kind of strange phenomenon going on here, too, with this ice. And again, that'll be part of the mystery, and I don't want to spoil it for you, but I gotta go. Whew, can't hold it anymore. Ah! Let's take a look at this news. Can I close the door? It's cold out there. All right, let's just take a look at the news. Let's do some translating here. So what is this? Oh, there's Hamilton right there. So if I press F... See how that's all in... It's in Canadian. A.K.A. French. But if you press F, you get the English translation or whatever your um, settings are as far as language is concerned. I have it as on English, obviously. So I don't want to spoil that. Let's just close that down for now. Put that back for the next guy. And I guess I can't close that outhouse door anymore. All right. Oh, that's cool with the, with the footsteps. So, my guess is this game is going to be compared with uh, The Long Dark. 
because it's Canada and it's a snowstorm and it looks a little bit like the long dark. I mean, not entirely, but it certainly does feel like it. However, based on what I've seen so far, this is much more of a story based and a lot less, much more of a story based um, interactive adventure as opposed to a true survival game like uh, like the Long Dark. Long Dark is really challenging and you have to focus on food and water um, pretty much all the dang time. Oh, pliers. I bet we can use that for repair. I mean, we literally hop from one location to the next and you, you don't have a whole lot of time as you're slowly freezing to death in the Long Dark. This doesn't seem like that at all. Although the description does say survival, and maybe that'll come into play another time later on. Oh, here's the but that's the Looking lift. Looking at right? the controls wouldn't make the lift budge. No. The poor thing needed electricity to work. The poor thing. Oh, I can pick those up like nails or something. All right. Well, let's go back to the generator. Can I run? Oh, yes, I can. And see if we have what we need now. I don't imagine. Okay, we'll have the pliers, right? Is that what that is? All right, cool. So this shows us what we need if we have the matching item. It's like a little matching game. We have the pliers, but we still don't know what else we need. And I clearly do not have it. Otherwise, the picture would have shown up there, right? So there's something else missing. I didn't really look around that well here. Various canned fishes. Now, what movie did this recently? I can't think of it off the top of my head. Was it Zombieland? Did Zombieland do something like that? I think so. It's really cool, though. I like that. It's a nice effect. Uh, I'm probably looking for some kind of wire. Oh, 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 wait. Get that out of here. Move it. Yeah. Wire or electrical tape, maybe. Let's see. Oh, here's some drawers. There's another note there. I'm not going to look at it. Oh, duct tape. Duct tape. You can use duct tape for everything and anything. It is the cure-all and fix-all, definitely. Always have duct tape with you folks if you're a camper or a hiker or hunter. Yep, what I tell you. So we just click... Oh, no. No, we click on the thingy. All right, I messed that up already. So we click on that and the duct tape, and then we combine. Oh, yeah. I did it. Maybe crank it up. Okay. As long as there's gasoline for this thing and it is connected properly. Oh, we have lights! Oh, the lights came on. Put this away then. Oh, well, that is excellent. I really love those footprints. Okay. Let's go lift this puppy up and get my crowbar. Then I can beat wolves if I it need to. It wasn't working right. As if the car lift needed more power. What? Uh, can you press a button? I'll grab this thing and pull. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. Crowbar stuck. It's still stuck. It needs more power. Well, I can't help it if the guy's got a shoddy generator. Not enough wattage. You know, here's what we're going to do. I think we have that switch box in here, right? A fuse box. So we're definitely on the generator because I left it there by accident. How about if we kill the power to the store? And that'll give more power to the garage? It's just a guess. I like puzzles like this. This is fun. I'm not a big fan of puzzles like the witness kind of thing where there's mazes and stuff like that. That's annoying to me. But these I enjoy. Hey, it worked! <laughs> What's the license plate say? Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> La Belle. La Belle Province. Quebec. All right. Let's grab that thing. Can I grab it? Grab it. I got it. A crowbar. Swing. A useful tool to pull out nails or to carry. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> exactly what I thought. Um, I guess I can't take this sweet ride, huh? It's alright, I got my Chevy. I'm happy with that. And I suppose if we turn off these lights, we can save on gas. Right. Hey, so far so good. Let's close that. Let's close that. It's a, it's a little sticky here. Ow! Here and there. But again, it, this is a press release copy before even the early access re is released. And there may have already been some uh, some fixes. I don't know. Can't crush those things, huh? No. All right. Well, that's great. So I don't know if we use this place as a little base of operations for the. It for was the... so cold already. Carl did not oh. feel his toes anymore. 
Oh. Oh, maybe we do need, um... Let's crank that, those lights back on. Maybe we do have to worry about our... Our, um... Our heat. Our body temperature. There we go. So now I have the flame. I guess that means I'm in shelter, I'm warming up, and I'm not being cold anymore. But it doesn't give you any status anywhere, does it? Is that dirt? Or tobacco? I don't know. Matches. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I'm not, don't read the note. Don't read I know. Well, I guess unless you can read French, you can't do anything with that anyway. All right. I'm going to turn on the pump and go fill up my gas tank, and then we're going to get out of here. So apparently there's a lot of driving in this. Or hoofing it. And you'll have your Chevy and maybe other cars. I don't know if there's going to be snowmobiles or anything like that. But um, I guess we'll find out. Oh, I hear the pump. It's working. Oh. I wonder why this thing wasn't working before. We need something here. So. Um, oh, fill gas can. Well, duh. We need a gas can. I guess I can't just fill my tank directly, we need a gas can. So my guess is there's a gas can around here somewhere. Um, Alright, well anyway, I think I've shown you enough of this game to give you an idea of um, what it's about in general, and whether or not it's something that you might want to pursue further on your own. And once again, this is Kona, day one. This is the first act. Um, how much of this act is available right now for $7? I do not know, but Again, the link is down below in the description to the web page, the game's web page, and you can check it out on your own and find out more. So with that, my friends, I think we're just going to call it quits. And uh, let me know if you want to see more of Kona. I enjoy it. Definitely. All right. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.